my corner! In the red! All hopes resting on him, his name is Toon Dragon! And in the top left, his opponent! Trying to stave off his opponent! Trying to win it for Risen! His name is Mumbles! One Toon! One Dragon! One Dream! Is it possible? Four matches in a row, he needs to win. One down. This is not the kind of epic music we need. Come on. Tell me it gets more epic. Come on. Don't let me down two steps from hell. Alright, it does. Okay, okay, okay. I can get behind this. Toon Dragon. We have to go back to the start. It starts off gentle. This is the gentle calm nature of his hometown where his wife and three children live they live a simple life they own a farm and tend to the sheep Toon Dragon's youngest has just entered school she'll be a fully grown woman by the time he returns Perhaps a husband. Toon Dragon perhaps returning to a son-in-law in his small hometown with a population of merely 60. The story of Toon Dragon will be forever told in the fables. Mumbles this man right here. Plenty to cheese Toon Dragon out of the game. But Toon Dragon has no fear. He sends a Reaper to his main. Will he see it? The Roach War is imperative. He needs to see this. He's so close. He sees it. Toon Dragon. He knows. He knows everything. He needed to scout this. Otherwise he was in big boy trouble. This isn't even a cheese. Mumbles is droning behind this. He just doesn't want to die to cyclones or I mean reap I mean what am I saying? Hellions! Speedy boys. Why can't we have nice things, Juvia? Tell me. Okay, he's worried. Toon Dragon is worried. He needs to put the bunker here though. And he needs to defend that bunker with all of his life. He sees it. He sees the roach. The single defender. The lone wolf. Roach. This reaper needs to stay alive. It needs to go back into the main base. What is this behind this? What are we seeing? What is Turn Dragon seeing? What is he thinking? All he knows is he has three matches ahead of him. Three long, grueling tasks. Mumbles doesn't care, he's just droning. This isn't enough roaches. These Hellions can be a nuisance. But enough roaches will be out soon. There is no detection here. There is a lair though, so he can in fact make an overseer. Oh my god, double banshee, Toon Dragon. He's pulling out all the stops. He's gonna hide it from this overlord. Hydroden. Guys, we have a vibe fan. Vibe fan in the house. Juvia is from Maple Syrup. The land of Maple Syrup. Guys, this is the Vibe fan. Look at him. I believe this is almost exactly what Vibe tells people to do. Oh, if he pushes in the front with this, Banshee's speed is there an armory. 
Oh, if there was an armory, and these were Hellbats and a Banshee, this would be dank nasty. Mumbles, how does he know? Mumbles, the genius, has that Overseer just there, ready. Toon Dragon has been thwarted for now. But his mech mind shall not be dissuaded. Where's the third base for Mumbles? Toon Dragon has prevented it. Another bunker going down. This is a big Roach Ravager army. I mean Roach Hydro. Takes out all of the Hellions and also a Banshee. This is a mighty fine work here by our boy Mumbles. Toon Dragon is going to have to fight tooth and nail to win this match. Mumbles supply is so far ahead right now. Cyclone Hellion is our way forward for Toon Dragon. Banshee movement speed. Is that going to be made use of? It is. Here it comes. 11. 10. 9. Here's a, here's a back out. Wait for Banshee speed. Roaches and Ravages. Why do I keep saying Ravages? Hidraisku. Yeah. This is some work. He's putting in the effort. Toon Dragoon. I think that Standard mech with siege tanks would be a lot better option here against Roach Ravager. Actually, a lot of cyclones would be nice. But it needs to go heavy into cyclones. I'm liking it. He is going heavy into cyclones. Oh my goodness gracious, this is a lot of production. True Dragon is about to start cranking it out. He's about to start pumping up the jam. Lurkers and Spire. Interesting. I don't think Lurkers do all that well against Cyclone Hellion. If you scan, lock on, and run away, Lurkers can't hit you anymore. They get off a volley, maybe two. And they get locked on two and die. But if you're not paying attention and you run into Lurkers, we all know how that goes. That's not fun. Okay, here we go. Hyper flight rotors engage. Banshees activate. Are they gonna pull this army out of position? Look at this turn dragon! Look at this multi prong harassment! Turn dragon pulling apart his opponent. And then killing a couple of crew chambers and running away. Turn Dragon! He played that so perfectly and then he ran away. He moved the army of Mumbles to a position where he can't defend his third. And then didn't attack it. Poor form, Peter. Or bad form. Oh, look at this. This is cute. We like you. Great spore crawl coverage as well, by the way. This is just gonna get bopped by Queens, unfortunately. Look at the Hellions, dude! He preemptively built a whole bunch of Hellions, and then Mumbles is like, you know what? I'm switching into Ling. I, I mean, Ling Mudo. That's the plan. Banshees don't really work well with this army, because you kinda wanna hit and run. And the Banshees kinda wanna sit there and fight. No, this is working alright. I think the Banshee should go elsewhere though. No Spore Crawler here. Then the Hydra just have to decide, do they want to help defend? And not die to these Cyclones? Or do they not want to lose a third base? I think that once the Cyclones get their Lock-On back on, they're going to be fine against these Mutalisks. I don't think Mutas are good against Cyclones. If you have a lot of Mutas, and he has a small amount of Cyclones, Maybe. But if there's a lock on per meter. 
He can kill all the Mewtwo's before the Mewtwo can kill one Cyclone. So Toon Dragon is in a really good spot right now. I was worried for him for a second there. But I'm liking his position. <coughs> Three Thors at a time. He's scared of the middle is harass. Here we go. The big engagement. The Cyclones are just locking and running. That's their job. Look at the meters die! Oofed! Oh, so much damage there. I guess the uh, Banshees are doing a really good job at keeping high ground vision for the lock-ons. But as you can see, I really don't like Mutalus and the Cyclones. Cyclones is so good against Mutas. He wants to just mass a bunch of links, get a wrap around, get a surround. That wasn't a really good fight for Toon Dragon. He is trading fairly well. But he doesn't want to lose his army. He could just never lose it and just run away. Again, um, army units like those that stand there and attack aren't really good with the, the, the micro style of Cyclones. The hit and run tactics. Thor's are big, clunky, slow bitches. He's making a bunch of extra. No, this is too many. Too many Helios. Just make two at a time. That's fine. I think he has blue flame for them now. I think this music is a little bit too loud. Blue flame is done. One meter. Actually, there's a whole bunch of meters. Why did he make more? This Ling's count is actually really, really nice. So it's all up to Toon Dragon's micro here. Don't fight into this position. There's lurkers, dude. Does he not see the lurkers? He's gonna lose everything. Everything is dead hit. These Thors are enough to beat everything here, I think. Yeah, I think the Thors can A-move this. Although they don't have upgrades. Uh, as I say that, he's getting them. Toon Dragon getting those gases going. Getting a whole bunch of extra production. A lot of drones coming out now for Mumbles. Twin Dragon's army is just... I don't know, it, it looked like it got battered into the ground, but he still has a pretty high army supply. But it's all in these buildings. Right here, 6, 6, 12 supply here. It's all in these stores. He's transitioning into normal mech, it looks like. He needs to attack and this is a bad spot for him to attack. He could have killed this base or like done something to it. He's now going to discover this other base over here. With no lurkers at it. Which is going to be a lot easier for him to fight. Gets a queen? Gets a queen. He needs to run. He's been massing Thors due to these muters. I think that's going to be really good for him. Oh, look at him dodging that little slow zone out there. And guiding the muters into the slow zone? Look at this man. Toon Dragon. He knows. Is this an advertisement? Check out fresh and chill. No! No! More two steps from hell, please. Mumbles has plus on missile. Oofed. That's going to be painful when these stores rock up with their almost tier 3 armor. This sounds like a, a song from Mumbles' hometown. I mean, Toon Dragon's hometown. This is a bit of a folk song. Sounds like a... An almost Lord of the Rings song. Here come the Thors! Toon Dragon! The music might need to come back up. Here he goes! Toon Dragon! Holy Benoli! So many Thors! Everything is dying for Mumbles! 
Thors are so strong. Toon Dragon, the fables of his hometown, playing in the background. Vanquishing his foes. Doing it for his children. Go, Toon Dragon, go! He's almost maxed out now. Look at how many bases he has. Oh my lord. Can Mumbles stop this gigantic big Thor army? There's just so many Thors. Hellions everywhere. Fusion core coming down Toon Dragon. He's going for them BCs. Them cattle bruges. The army of Toon Dragon is huge. Mumbles. He has nothing to deal with this. And I think it's all over for this game. Toon Dragon. The reverse sweep, guys. Is it happening? Two games down. Two to go. He has the whole side of the map. Mumbles has no supply. 44 army supply to 113. Toon Dragon. Ultralisks are on the way. But Ultras, do they beat BCs? I'm not sure about this one. That is a lot of Thors. I'm curious to see how well these Ultras do. I think they're going to get crushed. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. These aren't even 3 3 Thors yet. They just got plus 2 just then. There's just so many of them. There's like a Thor for every worker that Mumbles has right now. I think these Ultras are too little too late. Perhaps if he had have had them out when he had a full army, maybe something happens. <laughs> and the BCs are here! To add insult to injury. It's a high-tech mana mule at this point. Mumble's life is slowly getting crushed out of his windpipe. All the tech goes down. One Ultra on the way. Two Lurkers and a handful of Lings is the only thing Mumbles holds to his name at the moment. <coughs> if all of these overlords die- Oh my god, look at this conga line! If all of these overlords die, he's not even going to be able to make what little units he can even make. The BC's teleporting in again. He's standing on top of these workers. Maybe. The scan comes in. And Toon Dragon takes it. Look at this man. 